be able to get that kind of quality produce. And so to be able to grow it ourselves is really wonderful and also saves money and allows us to save for other things like paying off our mortgage. There's another huge benefit that should not be overlooked and that's the ethical impact of growing your own food in your own backyard. I think it's easy to ignore our ethical impact when we live so disconnected from everything we buy. We don't see how the food we buy in the grocery store is grown. We don't see how the clothing we buy at the mall, we don't see how that's made. So it's really easy to be making choices that have a negative impact on the environment, on people, on animals, on the land, on all of those things when we're so disconnected. For example, there are certain crops that have a negative impact on the environment during periods of drought. There are certain foods like, for example, buying palm oil has a negative impact on endangered species like orangutans in rainforests. And it's so easy to just ignore that and to not make changes because it's really, really hard to understand how every single food we buy makes an impact on the world around us and on our bodies. The best way to address this, being connected with your food 